My man JD is an investor from California, and you are looking at this bad boy right here. You want to know if it's a good deal, if you're set up to do the deal, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I got your back. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. This is the property I'm doing due diligence on for my man, J.D., right? J.D., you are an investor in California, and you had reached out to me. You want me to give you two videos, brother. That's what I'm doing. Walking through the steps making sure we set you up for success, right? You're a newer investor. You're out there in Cali. You need me, my team out here in Cleveland, making sure you don't make any mistakes, covering your back, right? So anybody else who's watching this, if you're thinking about investing in the Cleveland market and you're smart, you're going to reach out to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. You give us your phone number, and they'll talk to you about how you can get your own customized videos just like my man JD, right? Because I walk you through it all, man. I am a broker. I can sell these deals to you. JD, if I sold this to you, I would make, oh, I don't know, probably like $10,000 would be my commission for selling this property to you. But guess what, brother? I'm going to tell you right off the rip, I am not going to tell you to buy this property. I'm going to tell you why you should not buy this property. So if you're out there and you're in Cali, you're thinking about investing in Cleveland, it's going to be hard for you to find a realtor out there in Cleveland who's trying to walk away from a $10,000 paycheck. That's why we do things the way we do. You pay up front, you get an unbiased opinion, and we can save you hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's what I'm going to do for you, JD. So let's talk about you and like your situation, okay? Right? So currently, you have a single-family rental, right? You owe $92,000 on it. Uh, you had told me that right now you believe that that particular property is worth about $165,000. So you're thinking about either doing a refinance or a HELOC, trying to pull that money out so you can utilize it for additional properties, right? Because you have $10,000 in cash to work with, right? So you have ten k right now. Now, this particular property... All right, this bad boy right here, this thing is on the market for $339,000, okay? 48 days on the market, what it is, it's a commercial building, right? Commercial here, and then we have two apartments up top. Now, commercial's a little bit different than residential, okay? Residential is very simple, 25% down, one to four units. This is commercial, so they're going to go off the debt service coverage ratio, but this... This state farm office, bro, this is empty, right? And you told me you're interested in, in the commercial on the bottom, residential on the top. But this this is empty. I actually have a, a very uh, in-depth knowledge, right? Because uh, this dude who owns the building is, is, the, is the current agent. He's trying to retire. So it doesn't look empty from the photos, but you don't get a tenant, right? That guy's retiring, right? And then here's the units. Now... Here is the thing, bro. I happen to have an incredibly detailed, detailed, detailed experience with a retiring um, State Farm office, State Farm agent on Ridge Road in Farva, okay? So the building, I don't know, where the hell did it go? It's over here somewhere. Let's see. It looks like they Google must uh did Google blur it out from the view? Yeah, it's somewhere around here. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. No, no, where'd it go? Oh man, we literally lost the building. Okay, hold on. What the fuck? Where'd it go? Cut. <laughs> Alright, I can't I can't find it on the freaking street view, but it's right here, okay? This bad boy's right here. We're gonna do it from this angle before I look like an idiot uh, on the street view. But what I'm trying to do for you guys, all right, so there is the building. We are now going to travel just a little bit north, okay, on Ridge Road, just a little bit more, and we are going to go right here. Now I'm going to pull back the street view, 
There we go. You see that right there? This big old building? This is a building that I personally own, and it's quite a nice building. I even did the largest mural in the city of Parma on this thing, okay? I've owned this building for many years. Now, here's the thing. It is a six-unit apartment building. I got six apartments right here, and then right here I got a little doggy, uh, like doggy bath thing, dog groomer, right? You know, get your dogs looking good, okay? And then right here... And right here, I got two vacant units, okay? This used to be an HVAC guy. He was a fucking prick. We evicted him. He was a dumb motherfucker, okay? Not really relevant uh, to what I'm talking about. But right here, when I bought this building, there was a state farm agent, similar to the one down the street at the building you're looking at. He retired. He'd been there for 50 years. That unit has been vacant for me for like three years since then, bro. And also, that fucking asshole I evicted, the heating and cooling guy, that unit, still vacant, right? I'm a broker, biggest uh, scattered site landlord in the Cleveland area. Obviously, I'm not pricing these things to where uh, the price is wrong, right? Right now, in Parma, bro, these small buildings like this, okay? Small buildings like this, the mixed commercial stuff, dude, it's almost impossible, to get tenants right now, right? Like, the shutdowns and just, like, this whole, like, city right now, these types of units, they're, it's not making a lot of sense, okay? So that's something I really need you to think about, right? So when you're looking at this particular building, right, well, you have to understand, it's going to be very, 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 very hard for you to get yourself a tenant in this particular space, right? So what you're really getting is basically a duplex with an empty unit or something like that, right? You're getting like two units, right? Uh, with that said, man, 339000 would be an insane price. It's ridiculously overpriced, right? So you're not going to have that rent coming in. So when your commercial lender looks at this, they're going by the debt service coverage ratio. You're only pulling in rent from two units. So you would literally need well over 100000 probably like 150000 at least, to be able to finance this. Currently, you have ten, right? You have $10,000 in cash, right? And as we were talking about, you own a property worth one hundred sixty-five k. You owe ninety you You're trying to pull money out of it. We should be able to get you a refi. You should be able to use one of my lenders to do a refi. If it really is valued at 165 like you said, they'll give you 123 k less your 92 k which means you'll have 29 k right? So if you take that 29 k bro, and you add it with your 10 k that gives you 39 k right? We're just friends here. What's 1,000 between friends? So we'll call it 40 Gs, right? So you have 40 grand to work with, right? As just mentioned, this building would require at least like 150 k down for you to take it down, right? So clearly this one's not going to work for you. In addition, I don't think it's worth 339. I honestly think the real value is somewhere between 2 and 250. But even if you picked it up at that 250 or 2, I still believe you're going to need like at least 150 down because it's not going to show the rents that a commercial lender wants it to show, right? They're going to go based on the historicals of the building and the rents of the building. You've never had a tenant paying rent in the state farm office. And as I just mentioned, your outlook for filling this unit when this dude uh, retires, which presumably he's retiring as he sells it, it's nil, bro, because I've been trying to fill the same freaking unit down the street uh, for freaking three years now. It's just, it's just not happening. So, uh, JD, I want you to move away from this deal, right? This deal... This ain't for you, brother. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that 40K and we're going to utilize it in something else, right? We're going to utilize it with a duplex, right? Just a traditional duplex. No burr, uh, no commercial, right? Because you don't have enough money to do commercial like this or burr, right? So we're just going to get you a nice, solid, traditional duplex. And I'm going to film a video for you about that right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.